I realized I didn't. I just really like you. <laughs> I am a lucky guy. Why don't we go someplace romantic for a few days? Well, I have to go back home tomorrow. Oh, well, take me with you. Show me the wonders of Philadelphia, the Liberty Bell, the cream cheese. <laughs> I'll go tell the nurse you're here. That's a lovely chair. Oh, thank you. Oh, I'd give anything for an electric wheelchair. I just don't... Where do we draw the line? Right before the lodge bird thing. <laughs> Dorothy, she was just trying to help. And I never actually thought Stan sent me those flowers. You sent her flowers? Well, I had to get the ball rolling somehow. <laughs> You have really done it this time. Now, I don't blame you for this, Gloria. This is your mind? I understand. Yeah. Goodbye. Swell. Now I don't have a band for the banquet. What happened? Oh, they decided to play at the Free Noriega Benefit. <laughs> Hi, girls. Well, that, that's what the fight was about. My father offered a dowry, and Charlie wouldn't take it. Oh, maybe that's because he knew eventually those beans had stopped jumping. <laughs> or maybe he just loved me. Beans. I'll have you know it was the... This stuff sounds a little better when you've got lapels and the best. <laughs> anyway, my clients are charged with trespass. But the only real crime they committed was their overzealous championing of the defenseless dolphin. From a curse. So why don't you just kiss Rose and get it over with? <laughs> Technically, Rose isn't a fool. She's a simpleton. <laughs> What's the difference? How can I explain it? Fools read Dear Abby. Simpletons read Ann Landers. It's a fine line. <laughs> Actually, I'm very... Blanche, I do not believe for one moment that anything other than gin rummy happened between Rose and Jane last night. Dorothy, something terrible happened. Oh, God. <laughs> you idiot. If somebody told you to jump off a bridge, would you do it? <laughs> Blanche, would you excuse us? You mean you don't want to talk? I can still see Big Daddy sitting on the porch swing, swilling down home brew, picking off peaceniks with his BB gun. <laughs> oh, God, I miss that man. Come on, honey. I'm sure Grand Dragon, I mean, uh, <laughs> a Big Daddy is always with you. <laughs> Me too, Sophia, because you I know said what? quiet. <laughs> Girls, you will never believe what happened to me at the supermarket yesterday. Um, you were in a real hurry, and you needed to go through the express line, but you had 25 items. So you went... Why oh, isn't this fun? <laughs> <laughs> Dorothy, you haven't even touched your Mr. Ha Ha dog. You're right. <laughs> well, I touched him. <laughs> You're not having any fun, are you, Dorothy? Oh. Am I that? Tell you about how the St. Olafians were one of the original lost tribes of Israel? <laughs> Taxi! I knew you were going to say that. Look, Rose, sit down. Now, you are not going to leave. Rose, we need you here. My arms around Mother Nature and giving her a big kiss. Hi, you must be Dorothy. And you must be Mrs. Rogers. <laughs> No, but we have a Mrs. Rogers at the Grief Center. Oh, and there's a Mrs. Rogers lives across the street. And then, of course, there's Dale Evans, the most famous Mrs. Rogers of them all. It was perfect. It was you, babe. No. You charmed them. You were pretty impressive yourself. You gave them a respectable soft sell, and you made a deal that's going to profit both sides. You've come a long way, Sporny. Thanks, babe. Well, I, I better be going. It was a good evening. The temperature seems to be normal. But tell me, Sophia, are you taking your medication as directed? I take my medication every day, if I remember. You have to remember to take it every day. Now, I'll see that she does, Dr. Clayton. Elliot. Well, ladies, it's been a great pleasure meeting you. Dorothy, 
It's been especially... No, it's kind of lonely not having someone nice and decent like Miles. My advice works with my men, you know, the shallow guys I go out with. But if you still want my advice, here it is. Call Miles. <laughs> oh, look, it's a letter from my friends, Philomena and Dominic Bosco, back in Sicily. Oh. They're visiting Miami and they're bringing their daughter, Gina. Uh, Who are they? Oh, well, Gina and I were born within minutes of each other at the same hospital in Brooklyn. That's when Ma became friendly with Philomena, before the family moved back to Sicily. Will the Boscos be... <laughs> I'm so sorry Helltown was canceled. <laughs> Frank, I'm sorry, I can't. Please tell me that's a Nehru jacket. No, it's not. Rose, let's go heat up the lasagna. Come on. No checks anymore. Well, I can't afford to live without that pension. Well, honey, now, let's not panic. I'm sure they can't just cut you off. She's right. There has to be a good explanation. Honey, you'll call them tomorrow. Everything will be fine. Well, what if it's not? What if I can't pay my own way? What if I can't afford food? What if I have to sleep outside in some park? Ever got a letter? She never sent it. She forgets. I don't forget anything. Hi, Angela. Hi, Blanche. No, honey, I'm Blanche. Doesn't that make it confusing, having two Blanches in the same house? <laughs> and Angela, honey, wouldn't you like to lie down? You've had a long trip. I don't want to lie down. I just got here. Oh, I always get tired after a long... I'm my fear, honey, but I just haven't. And, and, and performing is a nightmare for me. Hey, we've all got our sad stories. <laughs> Look, Blanche, we've practiced for six weeks. We've paid for our costumes. We told everybody we'd be there. Now you're not going to wimp out on me. You're going to go to that recital. Uh, excuse me. My friend here would like to apply for a library card. What friend? <laughs> oh, the uh, one who's checking out everything but the books. Hi, what you reading? Oh, you must be a passionate man. Females to fondle. That transmitter at the McDonald's tonight. There's a great movie on TV. What is it? In Cold Blood. It's about <laughs> this innocent family is brutally murdered. May I see that, Rose? Sure. <laughs> the first night on the ship. A life jacket and a great big smile. <laughs> Please. Who's on the phone? Oh, it's that woman from the restaurant again. Give me the phone. So, uh, you're Myra. Who am I? Some call me Sophia. Others know me as the Terminator. <laughs> well, it has to be better than spending it alone. <laughs> I mean, see, Christmas for me is... Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> Christmas for me has always been rotten and lonely as long as I can remember. I always have the Christmas spirit, but no one ever seems to notice. I never get gifts, cards, dyed eggs. Dyed eggs? That's Easter. Another rotten holiday. <laughs> All under a little stress here. Now, I have an idea. How about lunch and a movie? My treat. Why not? I still have another 52 hours to kill. Oh, this is rough. I feel terrible. Yeah, I really feel guilty. Uh, Jamie Foss dress did come. I just remembered where I put it. Where? How do I... Have problems? I can't find my lucky handkerchief. Lucky handkerchief? What the hell are you, a minor bird? <laughs> I'm trying to get my kit together for a major bingo game and it's not here. There's no way I can play without it. It's like Kareem without his goggles. <laughs> I'm sorry, Sophia. I'm just so upset. You know, you would feel a lot better if you... From rehearsal? Oh. How is she, Dorothy? Oh. No, the doctor says she's fine. She's just a little shaken up. But right now, rest is the best thing yeah. for her. She's a tough old broad. <laughs> Well, I knew she'd be okay. Something similar happened to me back in St. Olaf. I was injured during a spirited game of go whack <laughs> Oh, Well, now that I'm up, I might as well do some shopping. Get back here, you deceitful little Sicilian gecko! <laughs> 
Oh. Then be caught in public with me. And maybe he's right. Maybe I do look awful. But think about this. I still look better than either one of you. <laughs> So, after I threw up, I pass out in this tattoo parlor, right? You know, every time you tell me you love me, I turn around to see who you're talking to. I can't believe it. Believe it. I love you. And everything that I used to worry about and, you know, I, I didn't worry about with you. Like? Like. Like. The reason they were so expensive was he had used all imported meats and cheeses. <laughs> You know, that story still tickles me just as much as the first time Charlie told it to me. It just amazes me how much you know about my life with Charlie. Rose. Thank God. Oh, we were so worried. It's had a very mild cardiac episode, no permanent damage, and you can see her just as soon as we get her moved into a room. Oh, did you hear that? Rose is fine. My prayer was answered. Who knows? Maybe that's what did it. I know I was doing some praying. Oh, <laughs> oh hi, Bob. Well, hello there. You guys ready for bed already? Uh, yeah, I guess we are. <laughs> We're very tired. Yeah, we took care of a lot of odds and ends around the house today. What did you do, Ma? What did I do today? What I do every day. Your help. Ladies, with all due respect, I think it's time you threw in the dish towel. I mean, trying to fix it yourself was cute, but I think you proved your point, and it's time to let a man take over. I'm with Lou. Oh, I'll get your coat. Lou is leaving. <laughs> Not so hard. I look in my hands. You're making a big mistake. The man may be a pedicure. Well, I'm 80-something, and I've seen more death and dying than any of you. Over the past five months, we've seen a perfectly healthy, energetic woman waste away. She can't do anything anymore. So what difference does it make that they don't have a name for it yet? It's still something. There were lots of diseases they didn't have a name for. What's going on? Where's Sophia? She's locked herself in the bathroom. She has pre-wedding jitters. Sophia? It's me, Max. Now what's all this nonsense about not wanting to get married? Oh, Max, I love you with all my heart. The time we've spent together has been some of the happiest... ...when Philip Starr, and I've recently been accused of being insensitive to the homeless. Well, I think tonight's sizable cash contribution should lay those accusations to rest. He doesn't even care about the dress. Sweet Jesus, it's a I miracle. This is going to be nice. easy. Well, it's don't take any chances. Sleep really with him anyway. <laughs> Shut up and drink. <laughs> this is the fourth one. Ma, that's a lot of whiskey. I only put whiskey in the first one, then we ran out. Oh. The second and third were vodka. <laughs> no wonder my head is spinning. This one's part amaretto, part sambuca. That should kill everyone. Should get to keep Mr. Ha's kidney. <laughs> And now it's time for the Mr. Ha Ha Birthday Roundup. When I call your name... And him, all we need is a logical plan. You go check out the attic and I'll look around outside in case he wandered off. <laughs> Good. I feel better now. At least we have a plan. <laughs> what I'm going to do. I mean, what if he doesn't come back? What if I've lost him? What if I turn into a lonely old spinster and never find love again? <laughs> Look, Garfield caught a fish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy, there's just nothing like starting out the... There's nobody there to take care of you. That's okay. I'd rather be there alone than trapped here with you. Besides... I could take care of myself. Been doing it long enough. What do you mean? All mom and dad ever do is fight. They don't even know I... It's me, Stan. Hi, Stan. Come on oh, in. Oh, Stanley, how nice of you to stop by. Bring me anything? Of course. Now, who's my gorgeous gray-haired gal? It's me, isn't it, Stan? You're right. Wow, a Game Boy. Very nice. Sure is. Now, who's your favorite fella? 
Sophia, who's your favorite? Blanche, I do not believe for one moment that anything other than gin rummy happened between Rose and Jane last night. Dorothy, something terrible happened. Oh, God. <laughs> you idiot. If somebody told you to jump off a bridge, would you do it? Sophia, <laughs> Blanche, would you excuse us? You mean you don't want to talk? We're 17 straight days in a rocking chair marathon. Of course, she couldn't have done it without the moral support of her children and her husband and his cattle prod. <laughs> okay, that's it. Drink this. It's a secret potion from the old country, guaranteed to put you to sleep. Looks like milk. I'm dead. <laughs> I am so mad. I just got a letter from back home all about my high school reunion. I didn't know I was going to miss such a good time. Listen to this. Dear Rose, you sure did miss a good time. <laughs> The precision drill team. I want you to be disappointed if the new tenants don't let us in. Buenos dias. Oh, God. Uh, I'm Dorothy's born act. This is my mother, Mrs. Petrillo. Uh, Only she's much older. I think. What do you think, Dorothy? Whoa! <laughs> I'm just getting so excited about Big Daddy's wedding. Hello there. I'm Blanche Devereaux. Yes, uh, Blanche, this is, uh, I'd like you to meet, uh, uh, say hello to Big Daddy. Hello, anybody home? Welcome, Wagon, come and get it. Hello, Rose. Mr. Hubbard, I didn't expect... Grace took a turn for the worse and... Well, she's out of pain now. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, good, good to see you, oh, Dorothy. Oh, it's oh, wonderful oh, to oh, see you, honey. Oh. What is this? You gift back to your luggage? <laughs> of course not, Ma. My luggage is at the hotel. Those are gifts. <laughs> You're staying at a hotel? I didn't want to inconvenience anyone. What inconvenience? You're my daughter. We shared a body thing. doing? Having a toga party. <laughs> Never mind, I'll talk to you when you're not busy. I'm not busy, but do what you have to. I was going to let Kirsten leave tomorrow and never tell her the truth. I was willing to risk having her hate me to protect Charlie. To this day, I don't know why I couldn't sell them. Did you ever hear of napkins, Stanley? <laughs> hey, so I didn't make the cover of Fortune. I'm just trying to do something to make things better for us. All our friends were moving up and we were stuck with a one-way ticket to Palookaville. Patience and understanding. That's perfect. All I have is a little patience and understanding. Oh. All right, all right. Ma, but listen, when we get there, remember we are trying to make peace. So whatever you do, don't bring up Ida. I won't, as long as the dog doesn't. <laughs> right. Get out of our lives and get out of our town right now. Well, we're just really proud of you, Rose. And I'm sure, Rose, that there is nobody who deserves that award more than you do. Oh. This is the captain speaking. We are about to begin our descent to St. Gustav Airport. At least I think it's the airport. <laughs> what? How do you feel? Like a fool. It's like a damn fool. If Rose needs physical therapy, we'll just simply see that she gets it. Hell, that's why houses have mortgages. 
You'd do that for her? Of course. Honey, we made a pact a few years ago that if anything happened to any one of us, the other three would take care of her. Sort of a, an extra insurance policy. Oh, my God! <laughs> Lockwood listening at the door. I'm flying my mother's sister, Angela, over from Sicily. And she's bringing the surprise? <laughs> Very difficult for me. No, I will not change my mind. Goodbye, Glenn. Dorothy, I'm proud of you. You'll see, it's not the end of the world. No, it just feels like it. Oh, I hope I'm doing the right thing. Well, you are if you really meant it when you said you never want to see. <laughs> That's in the same way we feel about our Gina. <laughs> it's not that it wouldn't be nice to have you as a daughter Dorothea, but we love Gina. And so does Guido. He wrote us he could never love anyone but Gina. He wants us to return her to him right now. Tell my sisters. Oh, come on, Blanche. You're overreacting. If you're really concerned, why don't you talk to him? You're right. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stay completely objective and keep an open mind. I'm sure there's some perfectly logical explanation why my dad has lost the stuffing out of his comforter. <laughs> Lost's funeral once. Everybody thought we were good friends because all through school he sat right in front of me because we were in alphabetical order. But in reality, all I knew about Lenny was what the back of his head looked like. So uh, what did you say? I loved the back of Lenny Linder Flood's head. <laughs> He had the bread into a stone tablet, but it sounds serviceable at this hour. Oh, thanks a lot, Sophia. Good night. Uh, hold it, Rose. I need some advice, too. You need advice from me? Yeah, frightening, isn't it? <laughs> it's about Dreyfus. <laughs> Gosh, I wish I could afford something pretty like this for my potential car buyers, but I'm having those end-of-the-month money problems. Ziz, you appear to be in fine physical shape. Do you have any more questions? Oh, of course. Do I have it? Oh, uh, we'll have the results when you come back in three days. Three days? What are you talking about? I expect when I go to a hospital for an AIDS test to find out. I'm sorry. I wish it was faster. But it takes us that long to be sure. I... <laughs> Ma, what are you doing? I'm recuperating. You're watching cartoons. <laughs> That's what you wanted me to do at Cypress Grove. Besides, I like cartoons. Cartoons don't lie. Ma, stop it. Is there something I can get you from the kitchen? Tea would be fine. Tea doesn't... Okay, Aren't they the greatest? Yes. Looks like I've been a good influence on them. Excuse me, ladies. I need to inspect your bag. <laughs> but now that you're dying, I mean, please forgive me, Blanche. I didn't know, please. I am not dying, Rose, but I might as well be. It's menopause. Well, I wish I could die, because as far as I'm concerned, this is the end of my life. <laughs> I was sit and feel sorry for myself, which is what I did all the time. But you got better. Yeah, because she stopped coddling me. She screamed, she hollered day and night. She made me do my therapy. She forced me to rebuild my life because she knew I could. And for that, I'll always be grateful. Ah, oh, thanks, Ma. I only have one question. We were first married, I faked it three times oh. a day. <laughs> that always made George happy, too. I've only been to one surprise party in my life, but I'll never forget it. It was for Grandma Nyland's 100th birthday. <laughs> she was from a whaling village in the old country, so we kind of... We are just friends. Sure. And Michael Jackson was born with that cleft in his chin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, people think we just made those words up, Susan. 
James alluded to the one character in the pilot, Coco the cook. Did, was he going to be a regular <laughs> person? Uh, what happened to his role? We didn't know what gold we had found um, with these ladies, and there was just It'll scare you at any age, and at any age, the loving would make it worthwhile. You. You want a safe, easy, comfortable home life and, and a romance and excitement on the side, and it's not for me. Dorothy, please think about what you're throwing away. If I stay, I am throwing away my f- <laughs> Ma, get off the phone! <laughs> Mind your own business! <laughs> Guess what? I think this is Sophia. <laughs> Time to look for the jacket. Yeah. I guess so. Yeah, let's split up. Okay. Pussycat, can you lend me $20? <laughs> Ma, this is the second time this week that you've come to me for money. Now, what happened to your allowance? Uh, something's come up. A medical emergency. Can I have the money? What medical Ma, what's wrong? I think I'm pregnant. Okay. How about when you were unmarried and pregnant? Ah, I remember your exact words. Get out of my house, you're dead. I have no daughter named Dorothy. Sure, in that tone of voice, it sounds bad. <laughs> but I'm supporting you now. Didn't I come here to live with you in your twilight years? Ma, these are your twilight years. <laughs> Understand. Little. <laughs> Me, sir, are you talking to yourself? Of course not. Fram Walk is talking to me. He's my Martian friend who landed his spacecraft in my yard. <laughs> See you at Wolfie's. Chips. I never eat chips. I don't like them. <laughs> they fall in my bra. <laughs> Well, honey, you've got to do it. His sister lives in Boca Raton. I think. Listen, Stanley, you're not going to get away with this. I know you're just doing it for the settlement. What makes you think I'm not doing it out of love for Sophia? Because you are a liar, a cheat, and a scuzzball. Sure, dwell on the negative. <laughs> Sophia, we've got a major problem. The insurance company won't... We may not agree with the fishermen, but we want this demonstration to be peaceful. In the tradition of, you know, the short, bold Indian fellow with the glasses and the diaper. <laughs> you know, the one who didn't eat and won an Oscar. Did the two of you have a good time? Oh, wonderful. I like being with Ma. I want to spend more time with her. And I'd like us to get closer, too. Well, I wish there was more time. I mean, I see you just packed for the weekend. <laughs> Dorothy, you don't resent me, do you? I don't be silly. Don't, why would I... I'm a waitress at the Fountain Rock coffee shop. <laughs> hours a day, uh, four days a week, minimum wage and tips, and a 60% employee discount on day-old Danish. <laughs> huh? A coffee shop. <laughs> All right, Josie, let's get out of here. Ma, we have to pay our respects to the family. And listen, if you see Max, I don't want you making enough time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Well, I would certainly have to discuss that with your parents. Oh, Mom and Dad will say yes. Or they'll be as happy with the idea as I am. Well, uh, I'm gonna get some ice cream. Wait up, I'll show you where I hide the good stuff. What's <laughs> going on? Listen, Ma, I want you to be especially nice to Marguerite. Please, Dorothy, I wasn't brought up in a cave. Actually, I was brought up in a cave. <laughs> Listen, Ma, I am serious. You are not to ask her to lift a finger. And if there's anything you need... Oh. It's an awful lot to digest at once. You know, I mean, first you surprise me, and then the engagement, and then Lorraine. I really love her, Mom. <laughs> That's all that matters. I, I mean it. I'm very happy for you. Tried to pee on me. <laughs> Aunt Angela, I'd like you to meet my dear friend Blanche. Blanche, this is my Aunt Angela. Pleasure to meet you, Angela. Dorothy, shall I get Angela's luggage? Oh, she doesn't have any luggage. No, I never travel with luggage. Ever since the time I found a dead man in my suitcase. <laughs> you found a baby. I thought I heard you up. I couldn't sleep. I had a horrible nightmare. Oh, well, tell it to me. I'm awful good at interpreting dreams. I was a contestant on the dating game, and I won. I went around the corner. I know what you mean, Rose. We have had some very special times together. Like the time there was that hurricane, and all the power went out for two days, and we, we huddled together to keep warm and sang campfire songs and told stories. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and Rose admitted that. <laughs> Look at this picture. Man's body was washed ashore on the beach last night. Oh, how hot. For just a few moments. We... If I may be so bold, uh, the pantyhose are nice, too. <laughs> At least the hose part. <laughs> I can't tell you how happy I am to finally meet you, Isaac. Why don't you two just run along and we'll catch up with you later? Right. Shh, don't you see that something is happening here? Yes, it's the beginning of a disaster. <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> A detective? You're giving the gift of suspicion? That's right. He's going to follow Miles everywhere he goes for the next two weeks. Oh, and if you really love any of the pictures, you can get them in wallet size. <laughs> well, I can't use this. No, she... <laughs> is that what this is all about? You think I put a curse on you? Well, it's true. You got mad at us for firing you. That's why you reversed that love potion you gave me. Honey, that wasn't love potion. That was Chanel number five. <laughs> That's not a Steven Spielberg movie. What are they doing? <laughs> you know what they're doing. We had that talk when you were 12. <laughs> no, I can't believe this. You rented a dirty movie? Dirty is in the eye of the beholder. Okay, maybe that's a little dirty. I cannot watch it. home this morning. Someone's buying me breakfast. Someone? Okay, okay, quit badgering me. <laughs> it's Alvin. Alvin from the boardwalk? No, Rose, Alvin from the chipmunks. <laughs> Girl? I'd love to. <laughs> Oh, hello, Stanley. Oh, hi, guys. <laughs> you just wait right here, honey. You will never guess what this impulsive, wonderful fool just did. He bought a fire engine red convertible, put it on his credit card. I have to get a wrap. <laughs> hey, dude, so... <laughs> Don't look so worried. I handle the books. <laughs> hello? What? Oh, no, no, we'll be right there. What's the matter? 
I don't understand. Cats next month. <laughs> and the kid, is he an actor too? Yes. Or oh, maybe you've seen him in the Burger City commercial. Are you the little boy who jumps for joy when you get two hamburgers for the price of one? <laughs> you stunk. <laughs> No to the Miss St. Olaf beauty pageant. It was 1951. That was the first year they let humans enter, too. I was way ahead after the evening gone in a log rolling competition. People don't realize how hard it is to roll a log. Oh. Hmm. Seems you had a transfusion while you were there. The hospital thinks the blood may have contained HIV antibodies. HIV? Wait a minute. You're talking about AIDS. Oh, well, that... <laughs> I'm sorry. I... It's just that I was so excited. I think I might have stumbled on something that could change the face of plumbing as we know it. Oh, great, Rose. Call the tidy bowl man. He'll jump in his boat and spread the news. <laughs> I am that's Ava Braun standing next to him. You recognize Ava Braun? Well, sure, she was our high school PE teacher. <laughs> it was rumored she used to date Mr. Stickelmark. <laughs> Rose, that's it. I, I just can't take anymore. Huh? Oh, that, New Year's Eve. Uh -huh. Oh, I remember. <laughs> you and Dorothy were in New York, and I had planned to spend the evening alone. Of course, that was before Blanche brought those two brothers home from the rusty anchor. How could you do this to me, Blanche? You knew I wanted to spend tonight alone. Rose, nobody who says they want to be alone on New Year's Eve. Yes, uh, just a sea view and plenty of privacy. Isn't that right, darling? No, Daddy, it didn't. Uh, excuse me, I'll call you back. Blanche, I'm not sure I want to see you. I reckon you spoke your piece already. Daddy, I've been thinking, and... I think I'm starting to understand. Yes, I do. I, I did a very stupid thing, and it can't be undone. But I'm going to do everything I can to make it up to Kate. I, I love her. A and, and I promise you that nothing like this will ever happen again. Good. Good. Because if it does, I will break every bone in your hand. A little something for you. My ring. I didn't want you to sell it. Not like this. How did you know? Well, I called while you were out. Sophia told me what happened, so I went down and bought it back. Stanley, you didn't have to do that. You wanted to do it, Dorothy. We are just friends. Sure. And Michael Jackson was born with that cleft in his chin. <laughs> We don't have to turn on hot. <laughs> I guess I just feel a little silly right now. Could I have transferred my love for the Beatles to this one man who plays a Beatle? Could I have been so shallow as to have fallen in love with the persona and, and not the person? Oh, <laughs> oh, oh listen, uh, Rose, I was wondering, if you're not busy Saturday afternoon, the university is playing Shostakovich. Oh, I'd love to go. And I'll bet we beat him. <laughs> Rose, honey, it's not a team. It's a composer. Blanche. Oh, Pam. I'd probably do all sorts of things that annoy you. Oh, not really. Go on. It would do us both a world of good to hear the things you'd change about me. Ah, but, well, there is one thing, Rose. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> you hum, Rose. I hum. Softly, happily. You're in almost two years. It's the curse I don't have. <laughs> I got it, nobody told me. I didn't get it, nobody told me. I figured this is life and went back to my meatballs. 
And then when I stopped, it just happened. <laughs> oh, being this close to you is the biggest thrill of my life. <laughs> If you were any closer, there wouldn't be room for my car keys. Uh, Mr. Hope, could we impose upon you to entertain for a few minutes? <laughs> Will I entertain? I didn't put this makeup on to go bowling. Well, you're not gonna believe it. I just saw a cloud that looked exactly like a cotton ball. My God, she is Henny Penny. I beg your pardon? Um... Frank Nan, Rose Nyland. Rose, my entire cast has been qual... What will happen can ever change that. Of course, I could be wrong. Then I couldn't do that anymore. Today's a special day. She makes it and crawls around. Well, well, what do you think of Maggie? Does it matter? Well, of course it does. All right, then I'll be frank. I think she's a gold digging hussy. But not for me. For me, in my mind, they'll always be here. Oh, All right, Uncle Angelo, for the time being, I guess you can use Uncle Morris's old apartment. Oh, Dorothy, thank you so much. My first apartment in America. Here, I will begin again. Here, I will start a new life. Any sense? There's, thou shalt not commit adultery, and thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife. Two out of ten refer to hitting the sheets and they couldn't fit in line? Does anybody think before they write this stuff down? Uh, you're not making any sense. I can't talk to you when you're half asleep. Excuse me, it's only 4 a.m. How often does a hospital mix up two babies? Have you ever heard of such a thing? Well, have you? Are you here for the methadone program? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm here for my mother. Surgery. No, blood test. You? Oh, is someone going into surgery? My life thinks I'm a lesbian. Doesn't mean there aren't thousands and hundreds and millions of men out there who don't. <laughs> that must be my melon man. Zorro rides again. <laughs> Chuck. Bumper. <laughs> Not <laughs> My magnificent little songbirds. I don't wanna take it anymore. I'll just stay your life behind the door. Just no time to stop and get away. Get out. Toys when no one was looking. When I come to pick you up, I figure you're gonna say you never want to go to school again. But what do you tell me? You love it. You made a new friend named Debbie. Mom, what the hell does this have to do with you? Wait a minute, wait a minute. How did you know what happened? I mean, if the thing went bad, the refrigerator broke down, we've all had car trouble, you haven't slept a wink, and now Blanche's boyfriend's dubbed her for a porker. <laughs> Marguerite said we were making a big mistake when we fired her, and she was right. Look, I am not... I'm as confused as all of you. All I know is he had that satchel with him when he went to the bank this morning. Sophia, maybe you better tell us exactly what happened. When we got to the bank, he told me to keep the motor running. And five minutes later, he ran out at top speed. And did you ever think of asking him why he was running? No, the man is taking diuretics for a prostate. Next week, I, I've only been dean here for a couple of days. I haven't got a secretary. I, I can't get my parking validated. I don't even know where the restroom is. <laughs> I was sexually harassed by Professor Cooper. Oh, don't do this to me. <laughs> Please, I beg you. Look, uh, Wait a minute. There is no Mr. Ferguson in this room. Is in this room 203? 303. <laughs> oh, boy, what a day. <laughs> Since I'm here, do you need the last rites? Uh, no, thank you. 
Have you had your operation yet? No, tomorrow morning. Well, good luck. I'm sure everything... How did you know? A mother knows. <laughs> uh, do you think I should tell Rose and Blanche? Jean is a nice person. She happens to like girls instead of guys. Some people like cats instead of dogs. Frankly, I'd rather live with a lesbian than a cat. <laughs> I'm beginning to like her. <laughs> Me too. Uh, you're going to have a lot of fun together. Oh, Dorothy, nobody can replace you. Oh, Dorothy, I can't believe it. You're going to walk down that aisle and, and you won't be home tonight. Oh, I'm going to miss you. Warren Beatty passed up the chance to sleep with me. <laughs> so, Rose, you said you were radioactive. <laughs> Well, you are. Well, only because you were. Hey, hey, now, listen, if you're going to tell her, I'm going to tell her first. What difference does it make who tells her first? Look, this isn't for our good, it's for her good. Now, let's just go out there and tell her. Look, Dorothy, if you'll let me tell her first, I'll forget about the $500. That's a lot of mine. <laughs> Did you hear that, Dorothy? Surprise parties make Blanche want to throw up. <laughs> Honey, why don't you go and take that bath and we'll just forget the fact that, you know, that today is really your birthday. Well, I don't see how anybody can hate birthdays. Oh, and so does Dreyfus. That's why we're taking a walk because we both really need to go. But that's not what I mean. I mean, I'll be walking, Dreyfus will be going. Okay. See you all. Come on, Dreyfus. Bye, Dreyfus. Bye-bye. Boy, I know the prescription for me. One of him every four hours. <laughs> is this for me? Oh. Oh. oh, it's a partially eaten pork chop. Oh. Oh. He had beautiful teeth, didn't he? Oh. This has to be a fake. I, mean, I think I will have the for whom the stuffed bell pepper totals. <laughs> And I'll have a turkey sandwich on catcher in the rye bread with a side order of George Bernard Slaw. <laughs> you know, Barbara, I've really come to value our friendship, and that's why I feel I can talk to you about something that's been bothering me. Feel free. Sleep with me. Oh, you wouldn't mind, Sophia? No problem. I just have to remember when I get up at night, the bathroom is down the hall to my left, not my right. The last time we had a guest, I killed two potted palms. <laughs> Your friend, Rose Nyland. P.S. Don't call the president in the afternoon. I hear that's when he takes naps. Oh, honey, that was really beautiful. It's a shame. Bad. <laughs> you have another date with Ken. Oh, Sophia, do you believe it? And I thought my head was spinning from the splash of vino in my lemonade. <laughs> Sophia, you don't put wine in your lemonade. No. You're right, I don't. It was a chair that would crush her. Well, then it's time to ship Isaac Newton to Saskatchewan. Dorothy, you can't send a citrus farmer to Saskatchewan. How's he going to make a living? <laughs> Excuse me. Next time we invent a person, let's make sure that he has a trade that travels. <laughs> Besides, I'm kind of proud of the job we've done on Isaac. I'd hate to see him go. Yeah. I gave those servicemen something even Mr. Bob Hope himself could not give them. A rash? <laughs> Donuts. Dorothy. Big Daddy was part owner of a donut shop. Did you really think this was going to be a story? I am drained of what little holiday spirit I had. Oh, it's too bad because we still have to shop for presents for each other. Oh, now, wait a minute. Listen, I've been giving this a lot of thought. I mean, none of us wants to go shopping in this terrible heat. So why don't we just put names into a hat, and then we just have to pick out a gift for the one person whose name we pick. Eat. And good at math. <laughs> I'm so glad you got your own Disneyland. <laughs> oh, ah, thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> 
Dorothy! Mr. Yamamoto just called about a teaching job. Oh. At one more <laughs> Oh, that's wonderful, honey. That's just wonderful. Oh. You know what the best part is? I get to stay here. That's what worried me the most. I mean, I don't think I ever really doubted that somehow I'd wind up on my feet, but what worried me and scared me was that I'd have to leave my friends and my family. Oh, honey. Oh, some money towards one of those new stereo models. Sell it. Honey, I don't think we could give it away. Oh, you'd be amazed at the things people will buy. When I moved from my house into the apartment, I had a garage sale and I made a lot of money. Of course, I probably would have made a lot more if I could tell a one from a 20. <laughs> oh, girls, let's do that. Let's have a girl. You to Shady Pines when you have a hernia. You took me there after I had a stroke? <laughs> I'm not getting anywhere. Blanche, you talk to her. A wet bar. Blanche! <laughs> Look, Ma, I love you. And I know what's best for you. And besides, I don't want to feel pangs of guilt for the next 20 years. Thank you. Actually, I was talking about the apartment, but I'll take wise. Anyway, we had to till the soil, so I volunteered to pull the plow and I hurt my back. How long have you been taking these pills? I guess around 30 years. 30 years? Yes. Rose, I doubt that your doctor wanted you to take those things for... All right, thank you. What? Thank you for the soda. I guess we're even. This fight was my fault. Yesterday was yours. Yesterday? Hey, if you're... Were... Being wrong. Just say it. It'll make me feel better. Sophia, I can't. Do it. <coughs> uh, everyone, may I have your attention, please? This is Sophia Petrillo, the girl... But I joined this mammals with blowholes thing. <laughs> I didn't expect to be carrying picket signs on some grungy dock. I was hoping more for a fundraiser cocktail party with Chinese lanterns and Portuguese... No, Hispanic waiters in tight black pants. No, Rose, she's dropping off a manicotti with a file in it. <laughs> oh, girls, we're going to get to see Mr. Burt Reynolds after all. I thought these beautiful tickets were all going to go to waste. <laughs> so, uh, which one of you isn't going? <laughs> well, I'm the one who won the tickets. Yeah, well, my mom's the one who... Rose, we are going somewhere with this. I mean, if not, I'm going to cut out your tongue. Yes, Sven came back to haunt Gunilla. Since then, every Tuesday night at Turnborst. Yes, many, yes, yes, you many times. Yes. Well, then you remember, he was St. Olaf's most famous shepherd. Well, Herda used to say, you can have a hundred sheep, and if one goes astray, that's the one you go look for. Especially if it's the best-looking one. I think I'll call it a night, Ernie. Okay. Take care. Thanks, Ernie. Tommy Turner. 71. Don't miss any meals. Back in Brooklyn. Ebbets Field. <laughs> One of those warm summer nights, sitting in the bleachers, eating hot dogs, rooting for the Dodgers, and kissing passionately between innings. Stanley, you never took me to Ebbets Field. <laughs> no? No! <laughs> Ma, Ma, you promised you'd stay in your room until the meeting was over. Who am I, Alf? <laughs> I was hungry. You were spying. So what? He's a wimp, Dorothy. Um, for your information, Gil Kessler is a very bright man, an honest and devoted civic leader, and probably the biggest wimp I've ever... Hey, now why didn't you tell us what was going on? Because you can't help me find a job. Because nobody or nothing can make me young again. Oh, oh right, Rose. So your life isn't the same as it used to be. 
The rules have changed, but it's happened before, hasn't it? I mean, what did you do after Charlie died? Loans! <laughs> Ma, this does it. No more of this manhunt nonsense. I'm getting you a plant. <laughs> what a night. Don't tell me about it. Sarah isn't Marvin's sister. She's his wife. She's dying and she wants Ma to... I couldn't be intimate with just anybody. Oh, yeah? What about the guy who painted our address on the curb? <laughs> You make it sound like it was a one-night stand. He'll be back when it's faded. Honey, Mel's probably just bit... How did you know my name? I know all your names. This house has been under surveillance. Why are you watching our house? It's a security measure. The president wants to stop at one house on his way to dedicate the senior citizen center. Why can't he use the Arco station like everyone else? <laughs> are you saying Mr. President George Bush might stop here? He wants to... Hi, Ernie. Oh, Rose, I'm really sorry. I'm on my way to the office. There's been a small emergency. Do you mind if we postpone our date? Well, I was going to ask now, you look, if you... I'd like to make this up to you. I I've been thinking, uh, how about we go away this weekend? I know it's sudden, but... Andrew, you look skeptical. Well, hello. I didn't see you standing there. Really? I haven't been able to take my eyes off you all evening. You look great, Blanche. Jake, the reason I came over here, I wanted to tell you I made a mistake. I was wrong. Our differences don't really... Dorothea, I am so sorry we put you through all this. You would have made a wonderful daughter. But then you already have for your mother, Sophia. Arrivederci! Ciao! Ciao! Fine. At this point, I'll try anything. I always thought it was the size of a man's feet that were a sign of virility. Really? I always thought it was the number of newspapers piled up outside the motel room door. <laughs> Aunt Angela, please. No, we have to talk. I'm gonna go for what's behind the window. Will you take... Window one, window two, or window three. <laughs> window three, guys. All right, Dorothy, but first, let's see what you didn't pick. Behind window one, brand new living... I've been out looking for an apartment. The doctor says I can get my own place. Oh. <laughs> but who can afford three bedrooms? <laughs> <laughs> can I go upstairs and see the dog? Sure, go ahead. Renee, we don't have a dog. If he thinks we have a dog, who am I to stop him? And they... I have heard. Oh, Dorothy, that's silly. I bet they have only nice things to say about you. Uh, Rose, I wasn't serious. I know babies can't talk. Oh, yes, they can. It's just that they're only understood by other babies. And, of course, advanced civilization's far, far away. <laughs> like where, Every time the teacher turned her back, little Debbie Tansy did something she shouldn't. Of course, her mother was the same way every time her father turned his back. <laughs> the woman was a real tramp. Yeah. But uh, you digress. Right. So there's Debbie putting gum in your hair, hiding your lunch, stealing your... I gotta go leave her out. Hi, Ma. Dorothy Good, I need to talk to you. Well, of course. What's up? Listen, Dorothy, maybe it's me. Maybe I'm just being too critical, but you know how you've been fixing me up with men? Oh! Ma! <laughs> oh, you haven't had a good... This is wonderful. No, it is not wonderful, Dorothy. I was lying in bed eating, and if I don't get up and walk around, I'm going to become as big as a hippo. And life, if I can still call it that, has to go on in one form or the other, so here I am. I'll just spend my remaining years in the company of women. <laughs> The only reason I'm sticking around is to read Danielle Steele's next book. Cup of tea. Oh, sure as candy. Yeah. Anything you want, sweetheart. Dorothy, come on. You have to start being nice to her. Otherwise, she's not going to give us that money. Look, you ask her for it. She wouldn't refuse you. You've got to do it, Dorothy. It would break Mama's heart if she knew I was a failure. To her, I have the business sense of a Rockefeller, the looks of a Gary Cooper. It's drizzled down my chin. <laughs> Has it gotten awful hot out here? I'll go get the lemonade. Oh, we used to cook outdoors all the time when we were kids. Remember our camping trips, Lily? 
Oh, I sure do. During the summer, our father would take the whole family on camping trips into the wilderness during World War II. <laughs> huh? Fine. Play it cagey. <laughs> When is she uh, coming, Blanche? Well, she says in two weeks. And look, she signs it, love, Rebecca. I guess that means she's forgiven me. Forgiven you for what? Oh, it's always been too difficult to talk about. It all started when she wanted to leave school to become a fashion... Bedroom. I, I want to lie down for a while. <laughs> Ma? Dorothy! I have parked a Buick in my bedroom. I haven't met anyone as good and decent as Rose since Pat died. And I think I'm falling in love. You have to dress up to please him. Now, maybe I can help you come up with a costume. What's he like? Well, he's serious and conservative and concerned about the world around him. I know, a nurse. He's like a nurse. <laughs> Good after affections. From now on, it's strictly physical. <laughs> Well, I've never been fond of Rocco, but it's obvious that he really cares about my mother. Now remember, girls, as far as anybody else here is concerned, Jasper de Kimmel is in perfect health. Right. I'm surprised Jasper's not here tonight. He never misses one of these auctions. Well, it's not because he's dying. <laughs> Mama! Uh, too bad, Blanche, that you weren't there. Yeah, too bad, but I'm sure she'll say it again. <laughs> okay, let's go. Wait. Let me get a picture. Isn't she the most beautiful mother you've ever seen? You don't want to hear this, okay? Good news, you can't. <laughs> Oh, Rose, Rose, what are you doing? Oh, she can't face me. She's been doing this all day. Rose, you know I said I'm sorry. First, when we ran out of gas and then had to run two blocks in the rain to get here. <laughs> Incidentally, I appreciate everyone leaving me stranded after my heel fell off in the middle of that intersection. Good evening, ladies. Welcome to Albert's Diner. I'm Albert, and Merry Christmas. Oh, thank you. I'd just like a cup of coffee, please. Coffee? Sure. Coffee all around? Actually, I'd like a... Lagun, 